Hey family. So I said I was going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to attempt to get the Popeye's uh, chicken and sandwich, chicken sandwich, and try to get the, um, try to get the, um, and do a proper review. Sit down. And because I, last time it was late at night, it was an impromptu thing. And so pray for me that uh, everything goes okay, that they got sandwiches. And so I'm going to flip this around so you can see there's actually somebody ordering now. And then there's a car in front of me. So two cars in front of me that um, or either ordering or need to order. So you can see the black car is ordering now and then the car in front of me and then I'm next. So yeah, I'll pop back in uh, once I get the sandwich. See you later. Hey family. So it seems as if I didn't have to wait too long. Um, I think I got there about 12.40. Let's just say 12.40. And got online and there was initially three cars ahead of me that hadn't ordered I showed you guys it was two cars so got the spicy chicken sandwich combo and um, I shall return hey family so I'm home with my uh, Popeye's I'm uh, not the classic Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich uh, combo uh, with the fries and a drink so um, I want to welcome you and I want to encourage you to subscribe, like, share, and comment and tap that notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that I post a video. Um, welcome, like I said a few moments ago, and welcome to those who've never been here before. I'm C. Eats. So again, like I said, I have the Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich combo and before I commence to eating I'm going to pray over the food Father God bless this food that I'm about to receive I ask that it be nourishment for my body I ask these things in your name Amen, Amen, Amen So I have the TV on here and I want to turn it down Excuse me Something's been going on I don't know, something's been going on in the ooh, I put this in and the, the ketchup in the oven so I had it in the oven these are the fries. Let's place this so you guys can see. I'm having a heck of a time trying to fix this so you guys can see. And then I got to scooch down a little bit so you can see. I need to get a, a lower chair or something. So I'm just going to kind of like so that you can kind of see some of the food and see myself as well. I know you want to see the food more than you want to see me, right? So here you go, ta-da, spicy, it's Mark spicy sandwich, I'm excited. Um, I did this before, so this is like my third time having this chicken sandwich. Um, I did a short video where you show me on, see me online and drive through. Here we go. It's the spicy chicken sandwich. Is it upside down? It's upside down. And so, you see the, the brioche bun, and <laughs> so I am just drop. I just got the dropsies. Um, if you saw my Captain D's video, I dropped my drink. I'm shaking here. I'm so excited. See the sauce, and got pickles. Okay. So it looks like there's some mayo on there too. I don't know. Is this thing on here good? Okay. So we prayed over the food. So we are blessed. Lord has blessed this food and my drink, as you can see. 
So, whew. so like I was saying, it took me 20 minutes to get off of the interstate coming from church. And so on a Sunday, that's not, that's like weekday traffic. <laughs> and, um, something must have happened. And I noticed when I was even coming home from the Popeye's place. There's a lot of trash here. Either something's going on, an event, or something really happened. So I just pray that everyone is fine. Let me take a bite out of this sandwich. Sandwich. Hmm. Okay. So, the first time I tried this sandwich, I did not do a review. I was thinking about it while I was eating out that work. You know, we. We popped on down to Popeye's, down the street. Okay. Excuse me, chicken sandwich. All right, mm, let me try that. Try it. Ate it. Okay, oh, it's pretty good. I couldn't eat all of that. It was too much. I think this sandwich is a little smaller. The chicken is a little smaller. It's still a nice size, as you can see. A big piece of chicken. But, you know, there's so much going on about the chicken sandwich, you know. One of the comedians, I'm not gonna say their name, well, she's been saying publicly, so I don't know why I'm not going to say her name, Sherry Shepard. She's been mentioning that she believes they're injecting something into these sandwiches. So, mm -hmm. Last time I said, I, um, like I said, I bought a sandwich for myself and my parents. Now, my mom, my father ate his sandwich, but my mom didn't eat hers. I think she had chicken overload. <laughs> so she kept saying, um, I don't eat it later, I eat it later, but... I think it just thrown away, you know, got thrown away. I asked her did she throw it away. I've been sitting in there for like three days or so. She tried to give it to me <laughs> to take a work. Uh, I didn't want to do that. I think if you're going to warm this sandwich up, you need to warm up in the oven. Um, because I warmed my, my father's up. He didn't eat his that night, but he ate his the next day. And I warmed it up for him. I don't think he was that impressed with the sandwich, but <laughs> I was. <laughs> I ate mine that night. And it was good. So, I'm just noticing some things that are a little different. Last time I thought I had ordered the spicy, but I got a classic. So I had three classics. Um, back to the first time when I tried the sandwich. I had, this was before, you know, the lines were ridiculously long. 
Show me Popeyes always has a line, but now, you know, after the um, popularity of the sandwich, you know, lines were wrapped around the place like two, three times. And the police officer, I know you heard the horrible story of the killing at well, one of the Popeyes. I forgot what state it was in. So, you know, just a lot surrounding this chicken. I heard it. And after say, we are perpetuating the myth, the myth of us, you know, loving chicken and, you know, or that's the only thing that we eat. And, um, I applaud the young man that went out and got people to register to vote. And that first time, you know, when everybody was waiting online. So, the last time, which was my second time in the chicken sandwich, was, you know, it was, uh, I didn't have to wait that long. So, I'm grateful. Both times. And I think I waited less time today than I did the last time. Same Popeyes. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I had a bite. <laughs> Sandwich practically going. Then I decide, oh, let me share. So, I really, really have to stop drinking so much soda. So, today's December 7th, at least December 7th, December 1st, and 2019 has gone by so fast. Um, um, I just want to encourage you, if there's anything that you vowed in the beginning of 2019, 2018, 2017, <laughs> previous years that you were going to do, go ahead and get started on it. I've been really, really thinking about some things that, <clears throat> that I wanted to get started, and I think I need to just go ahead and do it and stop thinking about it. Think another about it. That's a little bit of a sauce there. I'll take a little bit, a bit of a bite. Just a little bit of a bite. And, um, I'm not how long you talk about, but now I can't remember. 
So. This past week was uh, I guess this um, Thanksgiving week. So I took the week off. I normally we normally have a half a day before the day before Thanksgiving. If it's a weekday, which it normally does fall on a weekday. And the day after. <clears throat> so I took that whole week. Excuse me. I just took that whole week off. And I really needed that time. I was so tired when Friday came around. And um, when it came time to leave, I was time to go. I was ready to go. I was ready to go. What Wanda used to say. <laughs> character on living color. Red to go. I was red to go. And I really okay, I think that now I know what I think now I know what I want to talk about. About how I really relaxed. There was a lot of times that I really was up and moving around and helping out, helping my parents. But there was a time when I was re I mean, in the mornings, I still woke up early, like the time I get up to work, but I didn't get up. Any other time that I have some time off, I would get up. I would wake up, I would just get up, I'd get washed up, get dressed. I caught myself keeping in that. <clears throat> So not the cycle, I'll use that word now, you know, so I won't be struggling when I go back to work. To, uh, I didn't do that this time. I just stayed, I stayed in the bed till like, excuse me, between 11 and 12 o'clock. And I had, excuse me, I hadn't done nothing like that in a long, oh, <laughs> A long time. Oh my God. <clears throat> so I'm getting near the end of the sandwich. That's why I'm really tasting the spicy sauce and the pickles. So, anyway. I just want to encourage you, if you get some time, to just take some time for yourself. Hey, there. There were some times I was like, you know what, I should really be getting up and doing something. I'm trying to see my eyes, I'm looking at my eyes, and I'm like, and they still look over red. You would think I was hanging out in the club. I think I really needed that rest. So, yesterday, you know, when I go shopping with my mother, she wears me out. And so, and I'm not complaining. I'm just telling the truth. And she, <laughs> she knows it too. Matter of fact, my sister was alive. We used to talk about that we take turns sometimes we would go together to take her shopping and then sometimes she her and I we would take turns my sister would go with her or I would go with her or we both would go and um uh, 
good with the rock. Hug. My mom was helping taking helping to take care of my grandmother. And oh wow. So coming to the end. So I remember one time. going with her. I don't know what time we left. We might have left around I don't know. <laughs> By the time we came back it was like about 8 o'clock. And there have been some times now where her and I have come back at night. And it's like a part time Full-time or part-time job. And so, so, if you're helping out a loved one, even if you're not helping a loved one, take the time <coughs> for yourself because it can be, it can be a lot. <coughs> so before my vacation, I felt like I was on autopilot, just going through everything. Go to work, go through the motions of what you do at work. Go through the motions of what I did after work. I exercised or ran errands or did whatever. Came back, went to bed, got up, you know, just a cycle. And I was just getting really, really tired. I was forgetting things. Um, I, the, the little things were annoying me. And so that's why I knew you need to take this this time. So I'm thinking about cutting it short. I'm so glad I did. I'm think about it. I'll be holding on to my time, my, um, you know, your vacation or your sick time, like it's money. <laughs> and, um, and in a way, I'm glad I did because in 2018, it really helped. But. If you could take some time at the end, take some time. So, I'm really getting full now. Excuse me. <laughs> take some time for yourself. Even if you take a day. My mother used to tell me about that, too. She said, remember, you used to come home from school, and you would ask me, what am I doing home? Because I was so used to her being at work when I got home. Um, I said, yeah. She said, I, I would purposely do that so I have time for myself. Because my grandmother always lived with us. As long as I can remember, she has always lived with us. So she said, if I told your grandmother or your father what I, I had the day off, they would have my day planned, especially my grandmother. <laughs> she would have my day planned, so I would just take a day. And uh, she would have you. So that is it. Thank you so much for sitting and sharing that chicken sandwich with me. So, what do I have to say about this chicken sandwich for the third time? So, I've had two spicy, one classic. Um, both times, the previous times, I just had the sandwich. This time, I had the combo. Did I have the combo? I might have had the combo the first time. Anyway, first time I couldn't eat the sandwich, I think... 
Okay, so that's number one. I was going to say I wish it smaller now. But it's still a nice size. Um, this sandwich seemed like it was sitting for a while. Um, just the way it looked. The one that I had previous, uh, the time before where I was recording in the car and it was dark outside. I think that one was more fresh. That was fresher. Um, I still like the sandwich, but I don't know if I would, I think I had to give myself, myself a break from the sandwich. I, I mean, you know, I thought, so I think it's been about two or three weeks since I had the sandwich last. And this is December, three, four months when I first had it. So the sandwich is still good, but, um, Again, it's not worth, uh, no sandwich, no no amount of food is worth um, taking someone's life over. Um, I'm just so blessed that I was, I didn't wait that long. I think I might have waited in line about 10 minutes. I don't even think it was 10 minutes, but, you know, I should have, uh, the last time I got on a drive through I, I, made note of how long I said. Now it was like 20 to 30 minutes I stayed, sat in line. This time, I think it was like 10 minutes. So the lines are still, and in the inside, it was still busy. People going in, people coming out. And um, it's still popular, but it looked like it's the, the popularity is wearing down. So it's good. If you haven't tried it, try it. Um, and let me know. If you've already tried it, let me know. I saw someone's video and a uh, YouTuber, and they said that they, they were disappointed that the last time they had it, it was better. And so, yeah, those, those the work, workers are probably tired of making that sandwich. And so it all depends on probably if the person is tired or, or what whatever their state of mind is at that time um, probably has a lot to, to do with how that sandwich is coming out I, I'm, I'm imagining that they have I don't really know but imagine that they have stations and stuff like that but yeah check it out if you haven't already or if you have and you just want to see you want to kind of you know compare the last time you had it to you know, the present time that you have it. But I don't think I'll be buying it anytime soon. Um, if someone buys it for me, I'll probably eat it with, or save it for later or give it to somebody. But yeah, it's, it's worn off. Um, so thanks again for joining me. I want to encourage you to subscribe, like, share, comment, and tap that notification bell so that you'll know each and every time that I post a video. Also, content creators, remember that the uh, content that you disseminate may not be for everyone, but it's definitely, definitely for somebody. Have an awesome evening, afternoon, morning, whatever time it is in your area. Bye-bye.